Let's set up a meet in our Google Calendar. So first we're gonna go ahead and find a time slot and set up our meet just like Louie normally would by adding a title and adding our guests to our meeting. Once we have all our guests added, we're gonna go ahead and move down and beside our Google Meet link, we're gonna go over to the gear so we can change our conference settings. So select the gear and you're gonna see you have host controls, but now you have breakout rooms. So we're gonna to go to the breakout rooms and I can now set up my breakout rooms ahead of time. So I'm gonna select how many rooms I want and then I can move the participants between the various rooms. I can even rename the breakout rooms ahead of time. Now that I've done all my breakout room names, I'm gonna go ahead and save these breakout room settings. And now I'm gonna go ahead and save the meeting. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to copy this link and share it out another way. So if I use it in my Google Classroom, I can put it in as an assignment for students to click on, and that way the breakout rooms are already set up. You currently cannot do this in the Google Meet portion of Google Classroom. This can only currently be done in Google Calendar. Now that we've opened up our Google Meet, we're going to go up to the activities blocks at the top of your meet. So click on the activities and then go to breakout rooms. You're going to notice that the names that we named each breakout room have followed over for us. When we click set up breakout rooms, each participant is added to the breakout room that we set them up in. Now we're ready to start. We're just simply open up our rooms and begin our breakout sessions.